Okay, guys, today we're going to face a long and important debate. What is better, black vinyl or colored vinyl? What are the issues? Why is vinyl black? Is there actually something that increases the quality of the sound in the composition of black vinyl? Or is there something worsening the, uh, the sound in colored vinyl records? Let's take a look. Okay, so first of all, why is vinyl, the vinyl used in the record industry, black? Well, um, I did some research and there isn't one precise answer. The most logic answer is that um, when they started to produce shellac records, 78 revolutions per minute, I also did a video, here's a link to it, which I highly suggest to check out. Um, obviously the color, which comes from the residue, this resin of the lac bug, then wasn't that appealing. I mean, it, was, it, it would have been kind of dark yellowish, brown, kind of ugly. So they decided to add this uh, black carbon compound together with it and mask all these, these issues. So we have two reasons probably why black continued on in, uh, in the LP manufacture because it was already in use with shellac records, so people were used to use records in that way with that color. So changing wasn't, wasn't exactly a good idea. They did that for the 45 uh, RPM. They, they created a color code. Here's a, a link to that video that I made, but that's a different um, uh, story. The, 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 the current main type of discs records was black, the 33 RPM after the 78. So me, first of all, because tradition made so that the black color was used and also to mask all the imperfections because normal PVC, the polyvinyl chloride by which um, records are made of together with other ingredients, every manufacturer has its own um, recipe actually. Um, is just a normal, translucent, slightly gray, slightly bluish color. That is normal PVC. Um, and traditionally, we always been have been added this compound. Um, according to a lot of people, this compound, this black carbon, which is added to the rest of the, uh, the, the plastic that creates our records, should, should deliver um, a lower type of friction. It should help friction, almost as a lubricate. Um, why is this? Because the carbon has also a composition, in, together with it, of graphite. And graphite somehow eases, it, it makes more easy the, 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 uh, the stylus tracking and rotation. First of all, so that should be a good point for carbon black, which is not in color, not present in color. Plus, the carbon black hardens, it makes more stiff, more rigid, the composition of the record, which instead does not take place, obviously, in the other types of records. And this um, rotation after rotation, tracking after tracking, playback after playback, after many years, a, a black record should last longer than a, 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 a colored vinyl record. At least, that's what a lot of people say. There's nothing 100% true of what I'm telling you. These are various opinions that I gathered on the net and also I talked to people, I spoke to people. Um, afterwards, I'll tell you more about that. Um, but um, I have one more element, which I think is rather important, which I do not see in any other video on YouTube or other platforms. Nobody ever talks about it, but I think it's a highly important, a paramount aspect. What am I talking about? Let's take a look. Okay, so let's try to take a look to uh, a few um, pressing plants, what they say, what they indicate on their um, websites. I must say that very few do have do indicate um, their considerations, their opinions 
on colored vinyl. So it was it was quite rather difficult, although I did find a few uh, important examples, I must say. So let's take a look through the first one. As you can see, this is Furnace Record Pressing. They're located in uh, Alexandra, just outside Washington, D.C. And uh, in a section uh, related to colored vinyl, they say, as you can see, they state, Colored vinyl can suffer from some audio quality loss due to the nature of the PVC material used. You will hear this in quiet spots, in between tracks, and in the lead in and out grooves. If you have concern about audio quality, black vinyl is always your best bet. Um, plus, if you go to, to their um, frequently asked questions, uh, to the question, does pressing on color, color vinyl affect the sound quality? They say, yes, a bit. Black vinyl will always sound the best. When you add additives to the small batches that make up color vinyl, it can have a higher noise floor, but it's going to look really cool and it's still and it still sound as good as, as it can because we only press records that sound good. Well, okay, but again, they, they, they're clearly telling us not to do this. Um, if we go instead in Europe to at a very big and important pressing plant, one of the, the largest in Europe, which also served the US, this record industry located in the Netherlands, they have just a little little um paragraph uh, related to colored vinyl, which says, although our colored vinyl has a very high quality standard, it might occur that some types of audio pressed on other than black vinyl are more, more susceptible to a higher noise level and or clicks in the lead in and lead out grooves or on quiet parts of the recording. So again, they're saying something very similar to, um, uh, to the, the, the furnace, that there is more surface noise. They're not saying why actually, but they're saying that uh, especially during the quiet points, you're really gonna hear this. Um, <clears throat> the furnace record pressing was a little more precise and direct, really saying that uh, if you want quality, you have to go with black. Here, this, the, 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 the claim is a little more soft. But let's go ahead. Let's go back into the U.S. And, uh, to take a look at our last um, uh, um, pressing plant, Gotta Groove Records. They're located in Cleveland, Ohio. And they actually write a lot of stuff and I think it's very interesting. I'm not saying this is 100% true but this is their experience and I, I think they're, they're rather close to the truth although we it's very difficult to establish why this is so. So uh, they, um, they even post actually uh, a scale of, uh, of noise from the quietest type of vinyl to the noisiest and they put actually together with the black with black vinyl at number one, which means the quietest, also the natural translucent, which this is something new actually. Never heard about this <coughs> in any other website or around the forums, etc. Um, so they they put on the same level black vinyl, classic black vinyl, but also the natural translucent PVC without any additives. Um, if we go down the scale, we can see they put blue, green, clear, gold, orange, transparent, red, cold, clear, flourishing colors, uh, <coughs> which have at the, at the fourth point, fourth position, four points of noise, we could say, six, um, the uh, non-mixed opaque colors, pink, red, yellow, violet, brown, white is very low, um, rather noisy, also opaque mix, as you can see here, random colors, recycled color shades, handmade variants, all the way down, which is practically renowned that the glow in the dark or glitter records are the worst of the worst. So stay away from those, except for a, for a party or something like that. But they go ahead and they write a lot of things, and I think it's interesting if you read it all together. Okay, every record runs differently, and generally speaking, the louder the recording, the less notable, noticeable and plastic noise will be. Turntables also can track color vinyl differently than black. Some people report skips on color copies, which do not happen on the same record if play some black vinyl. Mm -hmm. Typically on lower end turntables, especially those which have plastic tone arms and or lack tracking adjustment mecha mechanisms. Such turntables can actually be problematic on both black and color vinyls. Okay, I, that's reasonable. 
<clears throat> Some people say that music itself can sound slightly different on color versions versus black versions of the same record. Since the grooves are the same, this likely has more to do with the turntable cartridge being used rather than the plastic. Interesting. No doubt you will find they say no doubt you will find many competing theories on the subject of color vinyl sound quality. The information on this page is based solely upon our experience running the various colors which are readily available in the U.S. today. From our experience, the main reasons colors can run differently, differently and sound different is due to the melt characteristics of the vinyl itself. It has nothing to do with the actual color pigments, but instead the PVC formulations, that is, the color pigments themselves, do not have sound, sound characteristics. It is true that black vinyl has the black added into the PVC to give it the black look. However, the composition of the black PVC formula that we use runs much differently than the PVC formula which appears white. Different PVC formulations can have dramatically different melting results at various extruders, nozzle and mold temperature settings, each leading to a different molding result with, with a, <coughs> when the records are being pressed. Also, we find that the size of the biscuit can have a dramatically different result with different PVC formulations. Very interesting. Which is why, for sound quality consistency, we do not offer 100 gram records in any color other than audiophile black vinyl. Huh. In any case, there are tons of color records in the US market and many people do not seem to notice mind the differences. But we try to be as transparent as possible, sharing information to help you make the best decision, blah 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 blah. Uh, then you are probably better off pressing black vinyl if you're concerned in a very quiet pressing scene. So in the end, um, this is rather interesting because you do have a clear indication where to go to, what kind of solution to follow. Okay, so I think this is very interesting info, which pretty much sets the point, um, at least in terms of general production. Then every case, I think, every case is different because there's high quality and low quality. There's great pressings and bad pressings. Plus, another important factor, and this is obvious, but I, I need to say so, color of the vinyl, the, the vinyl color isn't that important. I mean, all the other factors in creating a record from the recording down to the mastering, the, the, the uh, pressing, I mean, everything else is much more important. But I think this is an important topic as well, since if, that's why I'm doing this video, if you must decide, if you have to, the possibility to, to decide, should I buy a black record or a color record, record edition of a, sp a specific um, recording, what should I do? That's the main question actually behind this video. And I, I have an answer for myself, and I hope this is also going to be delivered to you. Um, so I also wrote to these manufacturers and pressing plants asking why are you claiming that color is uh, inferior? It's less silent. It's not as good as black vinyl, which in fact, as they said, uh, we only have 180 uh, grams or 200 grams additions. For example, that's a good in index, I think, uh, only in black. Why is that so? There is something in the industry that they're not telling us, I think. So I wrote to these guys and they told me two, two, two complete different answers, I must say. Got a Groove Records told me uh, that according to them, the color vinyl is worse or there are differences between black and color because there are differences in molding characteristics of the different plastics, which means according to... Um, uh, to them, there are issues when they're um, creating the, 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 the polyvinyl uh, chloride for the, the, the record, which may change according to what is used together with the, with the rest of the mixture. Um, but again, they, they uh, got a group records is claiming though that is something in the manufacturing of the PVC. They don't think the pigment is uh, responsible, which instead, according to record industry, they also answered me, 
they think it's the pigment, it's the coloration side, which is not as high quality, it's not the same type as the carbon black. So as you can see, we have different answers. I also tried to contact a series of PVC manufacturing plants, but no one answered. Hmm. I don't know why. Maybe they're afraid of uh, industry spies or things like that, but it doesn't matter. I think in the end, what the pressing plants are reporting in their in their websites is very important. Plus, our ears find definitely are the most uh, accurate. And I think, in fact, that we have some good additions in color and, and very bad additions in black vinyl. So it depends. Um, just to conclude this video, I'm also going to have a little test. I, I have the special edition, the box set of, uh, of Queen, which is all on, on, on colored vinyl. This album, uh, A Night at the Opera House, is, as you can see, white vinyl, which according to Gotta Groove Records is one of the worst. We saw it has a 7 in, in the grading of noise, which should be very noisy. And I also got a normal, um, a normal, a normal black edition. Obviously, these two records have been mastered and pressed in the same plant in the Netherlands. Um, so they're they're exactly the same. Just one is using white vinyl, the other is using black vinyl. So let's listen to this test and tell me what you think about it. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide, no escape from reality. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide, no escape from reality. Okay, um, remember that YouTube has compressed everything. You can find the link to download the high resolution versions and listen to that. I highly suggest to do that. And uh, if you want to know my opinion, stop the video. If you want to make a test with, with the downloading, otherwise, go ahead and I'll tell you. I think in this specific case, Actually, the white vinyl sounds better than the black. Although, although we must say that the black edition is a standard edition, while the white vinyl edition was part of a special package created for uh, a celebration of the, the, the of the Queen recordings. So, see, that's maybe not the perfect case, but at the same time, it tells us that a high quality white or colored vinyl can. Uh, stand the test can be as good as or even better of a black uh, record vinyl So I guess guys you have a few answers in there I think in the end if you can choose if you don't have special things or mm, points to hang on or a, mm, a Specific suggestion or or whatever it is that can help you in deciding if you just have to go ahead and what to choose in, in, the, in the shop I would go with black because black is a standard and, and all the, the chain of production is optimized for black. You, we, we must keep that in mind also. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like this video. Hope to see you soon. Bye, guys.